Hello everyone. Happy Halloween Horror Nights night 14 for me. I am getting ready to go into the park. I'm starting the night solo. I'm ignoring all the warnings to never go alone. I'm going alone. We're gonna see what happens. But I'm heading over to the parks. Gonna do the first part of the night alone. And then a little later, I think I have some friends joining me for some fun in the fog. But for now, let's head over to Halloween Horror Nights and start night 14. <laughs> So before I head over, I do want to show I made a couple special purchases for tonight. First of all, my earring. I have Among Us earrings in honor of Seek and Destroy. Not that any of them will be able to see it through their masks, but I will know it's there. And then also, I got some knockoff Seek boots. They have the actual Doc Martens in the scare zone, but I am too cheap to buy Doc Martens. So I bought knockoffs. <laughs> but... This is my little show of solidarity for Seek. Let's go to the park. Welcome to Horror Nights on a photo night. The line to go through security. Oh boy. Congrats, baby. Wish me luck. Night 14, here we go. It's gonna be a wild one. I was definitely using the resort guest entrance tonight. because There's so many people at the front gates. Resort guest entrance definitely coming in clutch. Guys, I left, I got on the bus at 6.45 p.m. It's 7.35 now and I'm just arriving. <laughs> just a lot of traffic, a lot of people, security line, just kind of a wild night. So it's fine, I've got nothing planned. Oh my gosh, there's even a line here. <laughs> uh, but not too bad, just, I've never seen a line here. I was planning on getting here before dark to try to film some of the zones in daylight, but that did not happen. So it's fine. We're gonna go have fun. We're gonna go film some scare zones, chill in some scare zones, and make the best of a sold out night. These boots are leading me straight to Seek and Destroy. Let's go visit. Let's go do this. Night number 14. Let's go see some spooky things. minutes which is wild that's very high for this early in the night it's gonna be a crazy night we're here
there are chainsaws coming on this cast. The other cast didn't have any chainsaws out. No! <laughs> well, that was a victim. That cast is victims for sure.
Alfie Chainsaw. Props to whoever you are. You deserve all the two bucks in the world. You're just slaying it. Absolutely love watching you scare. And that whole cast, super aggressive. So now I've moved on because Marathon of Mayhem started happening and it's so breezy tonight that all the water from Marathon of Mayhem started blowing in to seek and destroy. And I wasn't interested in getting in a splash zone. So I moved on, I'm gonna go check out Action for a bit. favorite puppets and now we're chilling for a bit resting the feet
whole gang going after the victim. Oh my god.
wanted to film a little sign off for the night. It was so fun to get to see so many of my spooky friends, have so many little moments. Got to see a very special caretaker tonight. Got some lovely friend time. Got to see my favorite puppets, my favorite... Uh, I actually don't know what he is in Wake of Growth. <laughs> I don't really know what he's supposed to be. A corpse? I'm not really sure, but got some spirit fingers there. We only did five houses. The case files, puppet, wicked growth, icons, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's the only five houses I did, but got to spend some time in scare zones, got to spend some time catching up with Maddie because we hadn't seen each other in a long time. We spent a lot of time talking. Got to meet back up with Brad and we finally got our picture. We've been wanting to get that picture together all season and we finally made it happen tonight, which was great. And I just absolutely love that picture. Invasion reunion, finally. I mean, we've seen each other, but we didn't get our picture that night. So we had to get our picture. I had fun with my favorite seek and destroy people. Got blinded a couple times. <laughs> had some great interactions there. That Caspi chainsaw had us dying laughing. Kelsey and her fiance Brandon were with me for a little bit of time watching him and we were dying laughing watching him scare everybody it was a good night in the weather oh guys it was like 65 maybe 68 degrees somewhere in that realm for most of the night i brought my flannel on i didn't even put it on because i was savoring having chilly weather way too much and i just soaked up every single chilly moment i could so it was just really nice to have a non-sweaty night at horror nights i got to see pretty much everyone i wanted to visit I had some favorites that were missing again. I keep missing them. They keep taking the night off when I'm there or for whatever reason not being there when I'm there, which is sad. But I get to see a lot of my favorite spooky people and there's only two weeks left. And I'm probably not gonna vlog next week if Brittany and I come, I probably won't vlog that one. So I think there's only two more nights of Horror Nights vlogs to come. I can't believe we're already two weeks from the end, so. With that, I am going to sign off and go to bed because I have to check out of here at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And that's going to come way too soon considering it is currently 2.55 a.m. So I will see you guys in the next one.